Well, T. Statman, the record-breaking pitcher at Horizon High School, has done it all. She is the first pitcher in state history to reach 1,000 strikeouts. She's got a 4.0 average, a scholarship to the University of Arizona, and she makes a pretty good varsity zone reporter. We let her preview the football team during spring practice this week. Hi, Tyler. We're at Horizon High School where spring football is underway. Right now we have Coach Hevener here. Tell me about how the spring's going. It's going good. The boys are working hard. Uh, we're getting better for or getting ready for next year. I'm um, really, really excited about the season and where we're headed. What are your expectations for this season? Right now we're just trying to get better every day. You know, we, we know what we got ahead of us, uh, the new schedule, the new division, but right now we're just trying to get better every single day. This year you lost a few key players to graduation. What comes to mind is Dalton Sneed. Who do you expect this year to fill the void? Well, we got four quarterbacks right now that are vying for the spot, and all four of them are, are doing a really good job. So we're going to take the competition all the way into fall, all the way into August, and we'll see who, who the first guy is going to be come then. Who are going to be the key playmakers this season? That's a good question. Right now we got quite a few. Uh, we got a young guy, uh, Mads Williams, that did track, did really well in track, uh, state track meet last week. We expect big things out of him. Got a young guy, Dylan Lizarraga, is a freshman last year. Going to expect big, thing, big things from him on varsity this, this year as well. And obviously uh, Noah Tardy, receiver, going to do big things. Robbie Gerlinger, I can go down the list. We got a lot of skilled guys on offense that are going to play big roles for us this year. So we have one of the players that coach was just talking about, Dylan Lizarraga. He said that you were one of the key playmakers. Um, what are your expectations for this season? Um, just to try my best, contribute as much as I can, try and make every play possible, uh, complete every or catch every pass and do my best. So you are just a freshman going to be a sophomore. I'm impressed with that. Are you impressed with that? I mean, yes, but I can't let that get to my head. I just have to kind of let that go and just do everything I can to compete with these guys I'm going to be going up against. All right, so next up we have Noah Tardy, one of my actually really good friends. Uh, Coach singled you out as one of the big key playmakers. How do you feel about that? Uh, it feels really well, especially after this, how much hard work the not just me but the whole team has put in over the past few years to get where we are. So right now we do have a QB kind of void. How do you feel about it right now with walking in with the QB before the season? Um, it's tough to say right now. We have four or five exceptionally well quarterbacks that are playing pretty um, at their expected, expected level um, at this point in the season. So with just talking to Noah Tart, we have another wide receiver, Robbie Gerlinger, another one of my friends. With the QB battle, how important is it to have good chemistry with the quarterbacks? Um, every day they, they all bring their A game. I mean, uh, quarterback, wide receiver, we have to have that connection of pass and, pass and catch. I mean, um, every, every day it, they have their battles out. Uh, every, when it comes to the end, though, coach is going to play whoever – has come with the best game the week before. So what are your expectations for the season? Um, we're all pouring our hearts and soul into this program and we're all just going to keep fighting all the way through this season and we can expect nothing less. So when we're looking at that schedule, wow, it's packed with powerhouses. Yeah, uh, we are the underdog this year, but everybody loves an underdog and you can tell you can tell everybody we're going to bring our A game and you can expect us to come and fight for what we believe in. So with that daunting schedule we were just talking about, Horizon starts away with both Mountain Views and then opens up with Hamilton and then faces defending champion Chandler. From Horizon High School, T. Statman. Thanks, T. And that is one heck of a schedule they're looking at. And if she is not most likely to succeed in that school's yearbook, I demand a recount. Pretty impressive stuff. Thanks so much, T.